Hello and welcome to the 26th video in this series programming a chess engine in JavaScript. So following on from the last video where we set up these indexing arrays for non-sliding pieces, we're going to implement the code for generating the non-sliding piece moves. First thing you need to do is add another variable at the top of generate moves called dir for direction. And now down the bottom here we'll start with the non-sliding piece moves. So the first thing we need to do is set up our piece index. I'm not going to explain anything about the arrays because that was all hopefully explained clearly in the last video. So we'll get, we're doing non-sliding pieces, so non-slide index, and we need to get that for the current side to move. So we'll say gameboard.side. So in the case of the white knight, that will give us the index of zero. And then we use this index to get our, sorry, in the, in the case of white to move, that'll give us the index of zero. And now we use our loop, uh, loop, non, slide, and then piece array to actually get the first piece, which would then be the white knight. So we use our piece index, and we'll also increment our piece index, so we're ready to get the next piece. And now we say, as I explained in the previous video, while piece equals naught is not equal to naught, sorry. Oh, I can tell it's Friday. Then we need to do our standard loop through our piece array. So if we have a white knight, we'll be looping through the white knights. Piece num is less than, and then game board dot piece num of piece, and then plus plus piece num and then we need to get the square that this piece is on so we have as we've done many times now already the game board and then the p list and then the piece index with the piece and the piece num why that went to the next line I have no idea good okay and now we've got the square that this piece is on, which we've seen many times before, we now need to loop through all of the directions that this piece can move to. So we'll say for index equals zero, index is less than, and this is why we have this direction number array for our piece type. And now we'll get the direction using our piece direction array. So we'll say piece direction, and this will be a double array. So we've got the piece and then our index like so. So this will loop through, if it was white knight, this will loop through each of the eight directions that the white knight can go to. Which means for each of those directions, we can say that our target square is equal to the square plus the direction. So now we've got each of the eight squares the knight can move to. We simply need to test for those as to whether we can generate a move from them. So the first and most obvious test is if the square is off board where we're wanting to move to. So t underscore square, and that's equal to bool. Then there's no point in making a move because the target square is going off the board. So we can just continue. Otherwise, we can say that if our game board dot pieces at this t or this target square is not equal to pieces dot empty, so it's not an empty square, then we could be making a capture on this square, and we'll come back to that. Else, if it was empty, then we can generate a quiet move, and we'll put a placeholder in here for now, so quiet move. And here what we can now say is if the colour of the piece on the non-empty square is not our colour, then it's a capture move. So we can say that if the piece colour of that piece, I'm just going to be lazy and copy this and paste this in here. So if this is not equal to our current colour, so game board side, then we can add a capture. And that's all there is to it. And the last thing to do is when we finished the piece, so before going round to the next while loop, we need to move to the next piece in the array. 
And once we finish the white king, so if we did white knight, then white king, then the next entry in the array is a zero, if you remember, and therefore piece will be zero, and we'll break out of the while loop. So that's all that is, there is really to generating non-sliding pieces. And sliding pieces we'll start in the next video is very similar, except there's obviously we have to add something inside here to actually iterate because sliding pieces keep going in the direction until they either hit a piece or go off the board. So I hope that made some sense. Thanks very much for listening. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.